Right then, Friday's phase two phonics. So the last one for this week. So I've got our flashcards here. Where I'm going to turn the flashcards over. You tell me the sound that you see. I have then got some phase two sentences for us to have a go at reading and then we're going to have a go at writing them too. Right, are we ready with our flashcards? Let's go. Okay then, so they're all done. I think we're really, really good at those phase two ones now. So, well done. Let's move on to reading our phase two sentences. So what we're going to do is we're going to point to each of the sounds in the words, then say all, say all put the sounds together to say the word, move on to the next one until we get to the end, and we'll pop them all together so that we can read the sentence. So, are we ready? So this is tricky word. This starts with tricky word. A phase two tricky word, can't sound it out, we just need to know it. It is I. So I, are we ready? Ready to sound this next one out? P -ut. P -ut. Put a at at hat on 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 phase two tricky word. Can you remember which one it is? The k at k at cat i put a hat on the cat awesome right next one are we ready so this one starts with a phase two tricky word can we remember which one it is it is tricky word the well done so the are we ready m or f it m or f it muffin it's it's is Hot, hot, hot. The muffin is hot. Awesome. Right now, um, right then. So now we're going to go on to writing those two sentences. So pause me for a second. Go and get yourself something to write with and something to write on, and then we shall start. Okay. And so I've got my pen and I've got my board ready. So our first sentence is: I put a hat on the cat. So first word in this sentence is tricky word i so um it's already a capital because tricky word i is a capital it isn't it isn't an i so and we also needed a capital for the start of our sentence so to do a capital to do tricky word i and a capital i we do a line down and then a line across the bottom and a line across the top and they should meet that's mm, kind of so i right our next word is put so show me your hands let's work out how many sounds are in the word put p -ut, put three so we're going to do a finger space and then we're going to one two three so first sound in put p so we're going to work so down back up and join it up okay what comes next in put p or so down curl round and up and down and flick so p -ut. well done a down the tower across the tower so i put next word is a ah. so a ah is one so do a finger space one line and we can pop that out in because we know what it is around the apple down the leaf i put a ah hat next so show me your hands how many sounds in hat a ah. hat three 
So finger space after a. Uh, one, two, three. First sound in hat. So down, back up and over. Next sound in hat. Ah. Uh, so around the apple, down the leaf. And the last sound in hat. It's a t. So down the tower, across the tower. Okay. I put a hat on. So hands, how many sounds in on? O, n, on. Two. Finger space. One, two. First sound in on. O. So all the way around the orange. And last sound in on. N. So down. I'll be over his net. Okay. I put a hat on. Now the next word is the. So we can't do our fingers and work out how many sounds are in because it's a phase two tricky word. We just have to know it. Remember, we've got our little line. It's a t and an e. A t. So we need to still need a finger space. Then we're going to go t and a and an e. So I put a hat on the. Now last word in this sentence is cat. So show me your hands. K at cat three. So you're going to do a finger space after the. I'm just going to come down here because I haven't got enough room over there. So one, two, three. Right, first sound in cat. K. Now here we have a choice. Do we go for a curly k, a kicking k, or the k diagraph, which is the two together? It's a curly k for cat. So we go curly around the caterpillar. Okay, next sound in cat, k, a, around the apple, down the leaf. And the last sound in cat, so t, so down the tower, across the tower. And at the end of our sentence, we need a full stop. So I put a hat on the cat. Capital letter, finger spaces, full stop on the end. Awesome, right. Our next sentence is, the muffin is hot. So we're starting this sentence with tricky word, the. We need a capital letter at the beginning of our, th, because it's the start of our sentence. We can't work out how many sounds, we just need to know it. Remember our little rhyme, it's a t and a h and a n. So we need a capital t this time. So we go down and across, so a t and then a h, down, back up and over and an e. Take off the top, scoop out the egg. So the now muffin show me your hands how many sounds in muffin m or f i n five so finger space after the one two three four five okay first sound in muffin m maisie mountain mountain okay muff m oh so down curl round up and flick muff now it's a f. Now it is f, but it's a longer f sound, so it's the f diagraph. So we curl round and down and flick and a line across, and curl round and down and flick and a line across. It's a double f. So m or f, e, down, flick round and a dot for the top. Muffin, down, knobby, over his net. Okay, the muffin. Now, next word is is. How many sounds in is? Is is two. So finger space, two. First sound in is, i. Down, flick round and a dot for the top. It's sliver down the snake. Okay, and our last word is hot. Hot, hot, three. So finger space after is, one, two, three. First sound in hot. So down, back up and over. Next sound in hot, o, oh, all the way around the orange. And last sound in hot, it's a t, down the tower, across the tower. And at the end of our sentence, we need a full stop. So the muffin is hot. We've got our capital letter. We've got our finger spaces. We've got our full stop at the end. Right now then, guys, let's move on to phase three. <laughs> 